Hello to everyone. This is Johannes Kaiser, the Marketing and Customer Relationship Manager of Workbench. And about Workbench, we will talk. What is Workbench? Uh, Workbench is a semantic web collaborative development platform for ontologies, desire, and lexicons. And uh, why should you be interested in this presentation? And who should be interested in this presentation? Any institution that maintains vocabularies, simple or complex ones, lists of all types, glossaries, lexicons, tesauri, ontologies, any RDF data set. This presentation will focus on rational and requirements. The workbench is a product of working needs of two big institutions, FAO of the United Nations and the European Commission, but many other entities contributed to the development of workbench. I will talk about architecture and features, state of the art backend, working environment, and uh, requirements gathered for more than 15 years. And I will mention why we are special, why we have unique features and a winning business model. What was the rationale for the development of Workbench? When I was in 2006, manager of the Semantic Tools Agris Agrowork Group of FAO, we needed a tool to transform and to manage our thesaurus that we wanted to uh, transform into an area of concept scheme. We were a partner in the NEON project of the EU, which was focusing on semantic tools, which gave us the possibility to invest some money. Then we could manage after a while that the Agrowork concept server workbench, how it was named initially, was transferred to a professional group of developers at the Rome Torvergada University. And we started the Workbench Adventure, which got a big boost through the collaboration with the EU ISA Square project and the Information Office of the European Commission. In the timeline, you see that we started in 2006, in 2010, uh, the, the RIT team from Torvergada came in, and in 2020, I think uh, Workbench has been one of the most powerful tools in its area. Uh, requirements. Before the last development circle of Workbench, uh, we gathered again requirements. And you see here a list of uh, 15 requirements that were collected from all our partners. and. Uh, Resuming them, we could say workflow, multilingualism, collaborative environment, interoperability, scalability, extensibility, customizability, and based on standards, standards, standards. The architecture of the workbench is uh, state of the art and straightforward. There is a presentation layer based on the Angular technology. All the business logic is in the Semantic Turkey software which is the key product of the RIT group from Rome to Vergada, and uh, which includes all, uh, all aspects of semantic technologies. Then we have a layer for specific triple store optimizations because we are completely triple store agnostic. We can use any triple store in the work, for, work, for, for the work workbench. And uh, this is also assured through the use of the RD, RDF4J uh, data access layer. So we are, uh, we are not dependent on any specific uh, uh, triple store or data transformation, but we can use any customer tri uh, triple store. I will show you now uh, in a demo uh, the, uh, the working of the workbench and we'll come back to some highlights. Let's just call for the demo. Where's the mouse cursor? New share. So you should see now the shared screen of the work based interface. I'm logged in. You see here as Johannes Kaiser, and I can list, I can see the list of my projects. 
I log into Agrovoc because they're I'm most familiar with. And I see here the list of menus, data, metadata, Sparkle, and tools. We will go to some of these tools during our highlight section. But I now click first data, and we see an alphabetical list of concepts from Agrovoc. I click uh, agricultural landscape. And what you see here immediately that you have agricultural landscape in three languages, in uh, English, German, and Chinese. Uh, this is because I indicated in my personal profile that I want these three languages visible. Uh, the, the tool is completely multilingual and uh, can manage uh, 40 languages for, once, for, for one concept. Can, now you get the basic information about agricultural landscape. It is a SCOS concept. Uh, it's a top concept of uh, one of the schemes, which is in Agrovoc with our land, land terms. It is part of two schemes, of the Agrovoc scheme and of the land term schemes. It has as a broader term uh, landscape. It has lexicalizations in different languages, what we could expand. It has properties like DC terms created, DC terms modified. And what you see here is the relation of the concept uh, to concepts in other uh, thesauri or word lists. Here is uh, to, to the earth, to the earth thesaurus, to the, to the sociology thesaurus, and to, uh, to GEMET. And uh, if I want to add more, relationship, I simply click here and I can, I can give uh, a, an, an, another exact match, what we will not do here now. Cancel. I can edit any of the properties if I go here to Product term, edit. And you see here, I get an editing environment. I will not do this because this is, uh, I don't want to change the data, but I can edit this and go back to my screen. I can go to another term and get, get here the list of properties. I can see here the hierarchy. Different types of, types of assessment. And this is all done with the browser interface. I will now uh, give you some more uh, insight into highlights of, 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 the, of, the, of the concept management by, by the workbench. I go back to my presentation. Well, where is the mouse? <laughs> this is always what happens if you are in a presentation, you lose your mouse cursor. Okay, here we are. <laughs> and uh, I'm coming to the highlights. Multilingualism is clearly one of the main highlights. Uh, the workbench is born multilingual uh, because in Agrovoc, where the workbench started with, uh, multilinguality is not ling li language, it's not translation. Language is an entity of, of vocabulary. I showed you a concept management tool, but there is obviously not the way for mass editing uh, to use this with a single, uh, sing single screen, but there are uh, various uh, possibilities to mass editing of concepts, uh, properties, and resources. There is a fine-grained, sophisticated role-based access control there are different roles and roles can still have uh, different access rights, but the main roles are guest, validator, publisher, ontology editor, administrator, term editor, 
uh, because in the collaborative environment, it is necessary to fine tune access rights for all participants. Custom forms and reports was uh, uh, often asked feature. Historic, his history change in tracking. Do you have uh, any 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 change that is done to our vocabulary is registered in the database as a triple and can be uh, compared to further versions or can be backwards compared. I showed you uh, the, the alignment uh, feature in a single record, but obviously this is not the way uh, to do alignments. Alignments can be done in bulk, can be done automatically, and then there is a user interface where a user can check this uh, automatic alignment. Sheet or RDF is another highlight because this was uh, asked for by researchers who are really dependent on Excel sheets and want to get their vocabularies back into Excel sheets and from Excel sheets into the management tools. And uh, this is implemented in the workbench and there are much more extensibility possibilities. A uh, specific uh, feature is a publication companion to Workbench that we developed because Workbench is an editing environment which needs a rendering tool. And so PMKA is a general publishing browsing tools for data sets, including traditional browsing interfaces. But it also includes the advanced visualization, visualization solutions from Workbench with data set oriented graph view and the Sparkle interface. So why we are special. Uh, I think Workbench is uh, one of the best products in its area, but it's also open source. And it is open source and it will stay open source. But you are not, not left alone. It has a strong user community that uh, supports each other. It has a research term at the university who is pushing the further development and it has a service-oriented company behind, which uh, uh, can also support you. So you can download it, install it on your desktop, and it will work. You can work in your, in your corporate network with it as a client-server application, but you don't need to do all this. You can get a turnkey complete service from Laurel Star if you only are interested in the maintenance of your vocabulary and you don't want to bother with the software. Is this interesting for you? Then our conclusions, the workbench is the state of the art editor for all RDF based vocabularies, out of the box solutions for ontologies, Tizara and Lexicon, collaborative platform, usable for big data sets, roles based user management, import and export of data sets, standalone network or service, open source with professional support. If you are getting still more curious, just contact me for further info. At my email, at our corporate email, or contact me through WhatsApp. Thank you for your attention and see you when you decide to get more information about the workbench. Good evening. Yeah, and this is the end of my presentation. It's always strange to give online, online presentation without physical presence, but uh, bye bye.